One of the um, the items that one of the items that we have been uh, really paying attention to is, is how we offer support to our students, especially families, when it comes to the college admissions process. Right? It's a very comprehensive process, and uh, and so one of the things we wanted to do was reach out outside of Bosco and see what kind of people out there can help us. Um, so today we actually are privileged to have a special guest that's going to share a few words with you. Um, her name is Dr. Cynthia Colon, and Dr. Cynthia Colon is actually uh, a longtime educator. Uh, over 20 years, has worked in college admissions, has worked in high school uh, as a counselor, has worked in high school as a principal, and now has, has made a life change to become an author and also a, an entrepreneur. Uh, so I want to read to you uh, something from the Dean of Admissions and Financial Aid at Vassar College. It's one of the top universities in our, in our country. He says, chock full of information about managing the college search, tips, tales, and truth for te truths for teens, encourages students to take hold of and purposefully shape their high school years. Through genuine and engaging anecdotes and many years of experience as an educator, Dr. Cologne offers high school students and families with the knowledge, with the knowledge needed to lay the groundwork for applying to college. I want to introduce uh, Dr. Cynthia Colon to share a couple of words with you, and she's going to talk a little bit about how she's going to be working with St. John Bosco. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so this is something that you're not going to often hear an educator say, but please get out your phone, because you're going to want to do two things. First, I'm going to give, out, give away three books, Ooh. and in order for you to be eligible for one of these free three books, you're going to want to find me on Facebook. If there are students in the room, you can find me on Instagram, at Dr. Cynthia Colon, at Dr. D-R-C-Y-N-T-H-I-A Colon. The reason you have your phone, not only for that, the other reason is because you're going to want to take notes. So the book is called Tips, Tales, and Truths. And today, parents, I'm going to give you three of my favorite tips for parents. So while you're doing that, uh, I want to ask you, how do you feel? I just, how do you feel about being at Bosco today? Excited. Excited. Who said that? Okay. What else? Who else? Proud. Said that you. Okay, who else want to side of the room? Anxious? Wow. Okay, how about this side? Proud. Proud? Can't see you, you gotta raise your hand. Oh. In school. Hopeful. Oh, that's a great word. What did you say? Proud. 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 Excellent. I'll take two more. Blessed. Blessed. Ah. Oh. I have a gold star, I'll give you a gold star. Here you go. Okay, fantastic. All right, I'm on a short time frame here, so I'm going to give you my top three tips. And then, oh yeah, you can have my personal page. You can find that. That's okay, you can find it. So if you found me personally on Facebook or Dr. Cynthia Colon on Facebook page, you're going to find that I posted about Bosco, about being here. So press like on any of the things I just told you. Instagram? Yeah, you found me. Okay. Here we go. Number one is why you're having fun. I know. Write this down. Tip number one. 90% of the college admission process happens before senior year. Happens before senior year. So if you're not thinking about it now, you need to start thinking about it, right? So repeat that back to me. <laughs> Happens before what? Yeah. Exactly. And then and an addendum to that, I would also just remind you that when you when your son applies to college, even though you, he has four semesters of grades from Bosco, he will be applying with three semesters of grades because you apply before you get your fifth semester. So just keep that in mind. Ninety percent of the college admission. Application happens before? Great. Excellent. Good students already. Tip number two. When I was at Master, we decided on an application, we would say, what are the AQs 
and the PQ. Does anyone want to guess what AQ stand for? What does A stand for? What? Answer? No. Academics. Academic qualities and personal qualities. What are the students' AQs and PQs? The AQs consist of grades and test scores, right? The numbers. And by the time you're a senior, you can't change those because they already happen because 90% of the college application process happens before. Exactly. So the AQs. Everybody comes to the table with AQs. Everybody applying to college has a transcript with grades and has test scores. That's the level playing field. What makes a student pop off the page when they apply to college are the PQs. Want to guess? What's P stand for? Personal. Personal qualities. Personal qualities are things like leadership, being involved, community service, things that you do in your church, things that you do for your community, your neighborhood, things that you do in competition, all the United Nations, debate, um, science fairs, etc. Those are the things that pop off the page. Okay, so the tip is really about while staying mindful of your AQs, because those are very important, those are in fact the most important, your AQs. You want to get involved. You want to do things. So look up, look out, and look forward. Okay? Tip number three, this is solely for parents. Tip number three is this. Parents, keep your comments to your sons in the affirmative. Keep your comments to your son in the affirmative. And what I mean by that is they are going, they are anticipating so much right now. Right? This is a huge transition for them. They're going to have an incredible time here, but they're going to have a lot uh, to get used to and a lot of it to adjust to and making new friends and all of that that comes with being a teenager. So say things like, I'm proud of you. You're doing great. I can hear the enthusiasm in your voice. Keep doing that. Listen to your child because your teen is going to figure out what he loves to do while he's here. And when he finds it, you want to lift him up and have him continue that. Because that goes back to the AQs and the what? So the more you can encourage those PQs that he's naturally finding here at Bosco, the more he's going to thrive um, here at Bosco and he's going to just kick it when it comes to the application process. Okay, I am out of time. Um, I have three books. I'm going to take a look while you guys continue here. And uh, this is my hometown, by the way. I grew up in Belfast. Belfast, I love bananas. I couldn't go to Boston because, you know, my boy. But, uh, you know, all the girls talk about boys here. So, anyway, happy, happy to be here. Uh, proud to be here. And thank you, uh, Dr. Larkin, for inviting me. I think I'm going to run home, which is Mom's house right now, until I move back home um, to go get some more books because I think I might need them. So, anyway. Adios and um, good luck this year.